Hey, what's up? This is DJ Juanito from Perfecto 3D Groove Nation Records. Today I'm doing a quick video on how to import face animation from the Live Link Face app into Unreal Engine 5 so you can animate your metahumans. Let's begin. So I have a fresh project open here and the first thing we want to do is go to plugins, search Live Link, and click Live Link Face Importer. Restart. Okay. Update. Now, assuming you have Bridge installed in your system, you're going to go to MetaHumans. I'm just going to use a preset. Let's use this guy. Okay, go to MetaHumans. Let's go ahead and load up the character. Next thing we want to do is record the animation inside your app in your iPhone. You open up LiveLink Face, go into the settings in the top left, make sure that the record button is checked. Go ahead, look into the camera, hit record and start talking. Hey, what's up? This is Juan from Perfecto 3D Groove Nation. I'm only testing. One, two, one, two. I'm blinking, I'm blinking, I'm blinking. Opening my mouth. Check one, two, check one, two. And you stop. Okay, once you have that done, you go to your files inside your phone. You look for the Live Link Face folder. You go to Takes. You open up the folder. You locate the file. It is a raw.csv file. You select it. You just click over it and you click on share and you send it on over to your email. Perfecto3d at gmail.com. Okay, now I'm going to go to my email. I'm going to download it. I'm going to go to my downloads. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just drop it right here next to the avatar. And we're going to double click it. Select the character, go to track here, actor to sequencer, add the character. Now we have a control rig that pops up. We're going to delete that. Okay, select the character, go to details, right here, AR kit face subject. You're going to select the animation and use AR kit face you're gonna select here and there we go our metahuman is now animated looks good there's no need for simulation as you can see it's not on so um, it's just not necessary and there we go and that's how you do that I hope you learned something and I'll see you next time